Welcome aboard, everybody. Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. Thanks for tuning in and turning on. I have the great pleasure this morning of interviewing Dr. Glenn Winkle, Longevity's uh, representative of the company, one of Longevity's newest additions, the I-26 company. Very interesting product, shows a great deal of promise, and I thought we would get the information straight from the horse's mouth. So welcome aboard, Dr. Winkle. Could you tell my famous listening audience a little bit about your background so we have a frame of reference to understand this? Most certainly, yes. Well, I did my, my undergraduate work at Amherst College, um, where I actually majored in neurosciences, then did a two-year master's at Mount Holyoke College, which is just down the street, literally, okay. where I worked again on the neuroscience program I did previously. And then I went to UC San Francisco, where I applied to the neuroscience department. They recommended me to go to the anatomy department, turns out, where I was able to do a PhD, kind of an MD program, but didn't just finish with the PhD, pretty much. But I was in neuroscience and anatomy simultaneously, which was quite a load for me. But I had a blast, ended up doing my PhD thesis on early developmental biology. Then I left there, did a postdoc at UC Davis, working in embryology and electrophysiology stuff, and then came back to UCSF as a biochemist, supposedly. <laughs> it's funny how that works, but I was assistant research biochemist in the nephrology department, was a division of the cardiovascular research unit. Did a lot of research on cardiovascular disease. And the problem was that I started to realize that a lot of the research we're doing was not necessarily relevant because the problem was that people weren't taking care of themselves. The science says one thing, but we're seeing clearly people aren't eating properly, people aren't exercising, they're not getting the proper nutrients, and as a result, they're getting cardiovascular disease. So the message has to go out from the science side and say to people, hey, you guys aren't doing the right thing. Let's change this. Let's fix the problem by changing your diet. Let's fix the problem by getting more exercise, leading a more active lifestyle, things of that sort. So I started going out and doing a lot of public speaking, actually, on that topic, and just teaching people proper nutrition, proper diet, proper exercise. It's going to make a big difference in the longevity. Interesting, right? And now I think that you're doing a lot with sports medicine. What's up yes. with that? Well, actually, right now, I am, I'm one of the coaches at the Olympic Training Center at the Velodrome here in Colorado Springs. Work a lot with Olympic athletes, Paralympic athletes, and then I call them casual weekend wallers that come out and want to learn how to ride a bike. So I get to work a lot of different, quite a wide range from beginners to really high-level athletes. And you see all sorts of things out there, literally, on what they're eating. And so my, my goal is to change their diet, modify exercise program, teach them proper technique on how to ride a bike. Plus, I'm also working at Colorado College where I started the first collegiate speed skating team in the, the U.S. And we're building a collegiate speed skating program now throughout the United States, trying to bring speed skating into the collegiate sport arena. Isn't that interesting? A yeah, I, a lot of fun. I bet that's yeah. a lot of fun. I think one of the latest iterations in your career has been working with the company that makes the I-26 product. Is that right? It is. It's been about 20 years now, actually. Almost 20 years. Wow. So how did that start? How did that evolve? Well, you know, it's funny. Um, back in the day, I got a phone call from a gentleman who was a network marketing guy. He was trying to sell me on this egg product. And he started talking about what he could do. And I was kind of like, from an egg? I didn't quite get it. <laughs> but this guy had the smarts to know that he contacted Dr. Helen Greenblatt, who worked with DuPont at the time, and said, you need to call this guy. He's a scientist. I can't explain it to him, but you probably can. So she left me a voicemail. And I thought, as a professional courtesy, I'll call her back and chat with her. And that conversation, we had a good discussion about the product, what it was. And she convinced me to kind of give it a good shot. So I did. And this is now 20 years since. And I think in my repertoire, it is probably the most important thing I've added to my diet beyond everything else I've tried because of what it does that nothing else on the market does. And I started as an athlete noticing tremendous differences. I mean, I'd get into bike races and I'd be racing against guys and I'm wondering why they're going so slow. Literally. Why is everyone going so slow? I mean, we can go faster than this. And so I started driving the pace and I dropped everyone. And I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? And I didn't realize this product was giving me tremendous amounts of energy, faster recovery, greater strength, and a greater mental clarity. So when I was racing, I was like on top of my game. I was like, I felt powerful, and I raced that way as a result. Well, you're speaking like a naturopath now, right? Because one of the, <laughs> one of the first things that we're taught in naturopathic mm -hmm. medical school is mm -hmm. when in doubt, treat the gut, right? Yes. Because, yes. right, from the naturopathic perspective, the body is a whole system of interrelated parts. Mm -hmm. And as science progresses, they're finding a very interesting relationship mm -hmm. between the biome of the gut, yes. the central nervous system, and the brain. Yes, indeed it is, yeah. And they're showing that actually, you know, it's kind of like you have a brain in your gut because there's such an intimate connection between the two. Mm -hmm. So basically, one of the, the, the oldest naturopathic maxims here, right, is if you make the digestive tract healthy, if you make the gut healthy, Mm -hmm. and then you're going to be way ahead of the game as yes. far as keeping the rest of the body and making the rest of the body healthy. That's just fascinating. It's ironic, too. And think about this, especially for athletes. 
it's the one area no one even talks about. I mean, everyone's yeah. talking about external type stuff, the bicycles, the equipment, about training protocols and everything else. No one talks about the gut at all. Yeah. And in reality, you think about this, all your nutrition comes into the mouth and comes into the gut, and if it doesn't get into your body, it's not there. You can be eating the finest diet in the world at the Olympic Training Center. If your body's not digesting it properly, it has no effectiveness whatsoever. Yeah, it's interesting, which is one of the another naturopathic maxim. Mm -hmm. It's not what you swallow, it's what you absorb. Exactly. Right? That's and so and this is one of the reasons that we're very big proponents of a gluten-free diet mm -hmm. because ostensibly the gluten protein is mm -hmm. difficult, if not impossible, for most people's mm -hmm. stomachs to digest. Mm -hmm. And so when you swallow a gluten protein and it passes through the stomach, it's an intact chain of amino acids rather than individual amino acids. Right. And when the villi of the stomach attempts to absorb that intact chain, it becomes damaged. Mm -hmm. And it's the villi whose job it is to absorb nutrients into the body. So ironically, theoretically, right mm -hmm. the more gluten containing grains that somebody eats over yeah. time the more difficult it is for their body to absorb nutrients and you know from our point of view yeah. there aren't enough nutrients in the food anyway right and nutrient deficiencies are at the root cause of most chronic diseases if not all and mm -hmm. so it's one of life's greatest ironies that you know whole grains from yeah. our point of view, are one of the worst foods to eat, and it goes right back to just what you were talking about, the health of the gut, the ability of the digestive tract to digest stuff and then to absorb it into the bloodstream. So, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about cardiovascular support, and we talk about immune system support, and we talk about musculoskeletal support and bone and joint support, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that really we talk about when we talk about gut health uh, typically speaking is well clean up your diet and take some probiotics right, right. Or right. maybe some anti-inflammatory herbs for a little while whatever right so how does the i26 program or product uh, work in the gut and and how does it work and what does it do well that's why it's so unique because when you think about nutrition you think about supplements vitamins minerals essential fatty acids things of that sort the I-26 is neither of those things. Essentially, from the basic point point, it's egg powder. It's an egg. But the key thing is that there are antibodies in this egg powder that are specifically targeted against intestinal pathogens. Now, the reason why that's important, because a lot of people don't realize you can take probiotics all day long, and the idea is adding good bacteria to the GI tract, which is really good, very important. We see good results with probiotics. However, if you have certain pathogenic bacteria like Salmonella, Streptococcus, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas that are living inside your GI tract and they're well entrenched in there. Adding what I call the good guys to GI tract isn't going to eliminate the bad guys. They're still going to be there. They're still going to be causing inflammation. They're still going to be stimulating the immune system. They're still going to be causing leaky gut syndrome and issues with the lining of the GI tract. So you don't take them out by adding good bacteria. The I-26, it comes in specifically targeting those pathogenic bacteria and as a result, taking them out specifically so they're gone. When you take them out, you eliminate them. Then you can actually create a healthy flora, which is something that nothing else does that to this market. That's what, the name itself, I-26, because it's, it's targeted against specifically 26 different intestinal pathogens. In the human bio. Human body, yes. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So from the chicken to the human, that's an interesting Yes. That's an interesting phenomenon, right? So, and, and it's a point well taken, and we talk about this all the time, right, that the digestive tract is like a sardine box, Mm -hmm. And there's only so much room in there. There's yep. only so many sardines you can fit in there. And at any moment in time, there's the good stuff and then there's the bad stuff. Yeah. And the intention here, right, is to not only increase the good stuff, but also to kill the bad stuff. Exactly. And it's the reverse of what happens when somebody takes an antibiotic. So, right. for instance, you take a broad spectrum antibiotic, yeah. the good stuff. The bad bacteria are often eliminated dramatically, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. And so now there's a lot of room in the box, and the stronger species survives and gains yeah. a foothold and creates more territory. Yeah. And it's usually the bad stuff that come back. That's correct. Uh, and then it's a problem. So in mm -hmm. addition to you know anti-inflammatory therapeutics with diet or with herbal medicine or colloidal silver or whatever... Mm -hmm. uh, and probiotic and prebiotic therapeutics. Now you're talking about a specific product 
right. the intention of which is to upregulate the human immune system mm -hmm. so that it eliminates the bad stuff from the box. Mm -hmm. Well, it does that, and it does two things, which is quite interesting, which is, this is why I like the product being so unique, because on the one hand, the antibodies inside the egg powder eliminate the pathogenic bacteria, that's part one. But interestingly enough, we found that in the actual prep itself, there are two factors called cytokine activating factor and also cytokine inhibiting factor. And these large proteins, what they do, one activates cytokine activity, means it actually ramps up the immune system, creating greater immunity. But the other half of that is that it actually turns down the immune system. So if you have inflammatory conditions, if you have allergy type situations, it tones it down and it does this simultaneously. Isn't it, it am isn't it amazing how that happens? Like the body has intelligence, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, this speaks to the whole concept in botanical medicine of adaptogenic herbs. Right. Right. And, and scientists, mm -hmm. mainstream scientists, have a hard time wrapping their head around this concept because mm -hmm. they're so reductionistically inclined. Well, how can this one substance, this one, you know, this one herb, both yeah. upregulate and downregulate metabolic systems in the body? How is that possible? Well, it's possible because there are different components, uh, metabolic components in the product, and the body knows what's best. Yeah. So we give the body a leg up, and if the body needs to upregulate things, it does it. If the body needs to downregulate things, it does it, and bada bing, bada boom healing yeah. sets in i mean that's just remarkable so from your clinical experience right you must i mean how long have you been using the i-26 i mean almost 20 years now 20 years yeah. Wow. yeah so you've seen improved athletic performance oh yeah right yeah. what other types of things have you seen oh, people benefit from um i mean i've seen the, the, the one of the key ones my my best friend's son developed leukemia and he and timothy was so sick so what happened was he couldn't ma be maintained on chemotherapy. His blood counts would drop below 0 0.5. He'd be at Baylor. He'd be sick as a dog. And they're afraid we're going to lose him. And I was visiting him for a bike race one day. And I said, hey, I just found this new product. Let's give Timothy a couple of surveys today see what happens. Mm -hmm. And within about four or five days, his blood counts went to near normal levels. <laughs> they put him back in chemotherapy. And he maintained normal levels during chemo, which never happened before, yeah. for the next the whole course of chemotherapy. So it was remarkable how it supported his immune system during that approach because he was Obviously, they're going to choose a very standard approach for leukemia, which made sense. But long term, he did very well in the program. Isn't and then nice. that was my first, like, wow, that's incredible. It was such a dramatic breakthrough. So I started seeing all these areas. Like people, a good friend of mine had Wegener's disease, which was inflammation of the major arteries, the lining, the epithelial lining of the arteries. And we had no idea what it was going to work for Calvin. And he was in a wheelchair. He was on dialysis three days a week. He was um, not walking, obviously. They put a, a lift in his house to get up the front stairs into his house. And well, let's try it, see what happens. So within about two weeks, I got a call from his neighbor. The neighbor lives behind them because Calvin had been in a wheelchair. And he looked out in the backyard one day and saw Calvin lifting 12 by 12 railroad ties. <laughs> Seriously, to fix Bonnie's garden because the railroad ties had fallen down. And he's like, what are you doing? Because he had seen him in a wheelchair last time. Now he was up actually getting about, he was able to lift things and move things. That's remarkable, so, isn't it? We see things like this all of the time with properly yeah. applied holistic therapeutics. Correct. Now, you know, because this product specifically targets the gut. Yes. I mean, have you seen people with irritable bowel or celiac or Crohn's disease? Um, how does this tend to affect them? Well, Crohn's disease is a really nasty one because it's an autoimmune type situation. And I had a good friend of mine who, um, her sister had three bowel resections. She was a nurse and she couldn't eat very much food anymore. She was in pain all the time, suffering. And she was, she was almost suicidal, you have to say. That's how bad it was. And she just basically stopped eating. She was losing weight dramatically. So I recommend she try the program. And it was about two weeks later, and what happened was someone in, in her sister's Bible study called me up and said, um, see what's happened with Chesie? I go, what? She says, oh, she's doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. So Chesie literally is able to eat almost all food forces again, no problems with eating food, much better health, energy was back, felt fantastic, and doing great. And so I've seen this happen time and again with Crohn's disease, irritable bowel, you know, intestinal colitis, the whole thing. It seems to heal the gut so well that a lot of these inflammatory conditions seem to go away. Now, you know, that's a very interesting thing to talk about, and um, this whole concept of autoimmunity yeah. is one of my uh, pet peeves, and, mm -hmm. you know, there's something going on here, mm -hmm. and the conventional medical doctors see somebody with uh, uh, a Crohn's disease or right. lupus yep. or rheumatoid arthritis, yep. and sometimes, not all the time, sometimes they see the presence of uh, an antibody in the blood. Right. And then they make the assumption that it's the antibody that's causing the disease. Correct. 
and that's never been proven and and no. the antibody the 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 factor is not present in everybody who has these quote mm -hmm. autoimmune diseases right so the therapeutic methodology then inside of this reductionistic medical approach is to suppress the immune system right because I woke up on Monday and all of a sudden my digestive tract decided to eat itself alive, right? right. Or my joints decided to destroy themselves or my skin decided to destroy itself or whatever. Right. So it's entirely possible and I am of the opinion that the antibody that's present, it is not causing the disease, it's mm -hmm. the result of the disease. Right. That there's chronic inflammation happening in the body Mm -hmm. that the body is generating, well, tissue in the body is dying because of the chronic mm -hmm. inflammation. And so the body calls in the cleanup crew to eliminate the dead tissue, and right. that's when you see the presence of these antibodies. Now, it doesn't make sense to me that mm -hmm. somebody, if it truly was an autoimmune disease where the immune system is, has upregulated and it's attacking itself, it does not make sense to me that a therapeutic which upregulated the immune system would be affected. Right. Which is what the I-26 does. That's how it works. It upregulates the immune system. But it also downregulates, too. That's the interesting thing. That's why I see it working. So I see in cancer patients, it will upregulate to deal with the cancer, but it will downregulate to deal with asthma on the other side. Or in this case, it was an allergy situation for one of my friends. Yeah. So what I see quite interesting is that it's not just upregulating. It is really normalizing activity in the immune system, which I like a lot. And like I see this all the time, you know, autoimmune disease, Pregnisone. It's always pregnisone. Yeah. And then, you know, many times some of the autoimmune diseases are actually caused by viral infections, which means the viral infection part takes over. So there's a lot of issues right now. Is I'm not, I'm really, if anything ever happens to me, no pregnisone, period. None. That stuff's nasty. <laughs> you know, Max Planck, right, the guy that discovered quantum physics, right, he was, he was very outspoken. And one mm -hmm. of my favorite Max Planck sayings is mm -hmm. uh, science changes uh, one funeral at a time. Right. <laughs> Where, which means that, you know, this generation of scientists or doctors or research people comes in uh, yeah. inside of a certain methodology. Yeah. And it's very difficult for them to give that up as they go along, even in the face of information which is contrary to that methodology. Right. Because mm -hmm. there's too much cognitive dissonance there. We, we just can't give up you know our ideation and so and this is one of the most frustrating things from my position as a naturopath you know almost 30 years of clinical experience now we mm -hmm. see remarkable things happen remarkable healings most of the time and mm -hmm. i'm still waiting for a phone call from the medical doctor of a patient who'd been suffering with asthma for five or seven years or type 2 diabetes for five or seven years or mm. arthritis for a long time and, and not getting any better under their care right. and then they do something outside of the box with naturopathic medicine or holistic therapeutics and they recover yep. and they go back to the conventionally trained medical doctor and you would expect the doctor to call oh, Dr. Glidden how did you do that that's the most right. remarkable thing I've ever seen never happens it never happens yeah, and, I know. and this, this is the problem that, that, that we're up against here. And this is why I'm such a fan mm -hmm. of companies that have products that, mm -hmm. that, that interface in the body in this way, that stimulate healing in this way, and that then go the extra yard and actually <laughs> prove it right. with some type of clinical study. So let's talk about that. Yes. What research has the company that produced I-26 um, been involved with? Well, actually, it's been researched on all different fronts. They did a study back in, um, it was a military study, and they found that people, as they enter the military, their cholesterol levels go way up. They found that when they were on the hyper egg product, the cholesterol levels stayed the same. So the way they could phrase the study without saying it lowered cholesterol levels, they said it maintained normal cholesterol levels in an environment where it normally would raise. <laughs> so it's very nice, very well-crafted study. They saw dramatic results with people that had... I also call it inflammatory joint conditions rather than calling arthritis because we understand that it doesn't treat disease, but by normalizing immune activity, it will help in situations with those inflammatory conditions. So whenever I have an itis, whether it's pancreatitis or whether it's arthritis, that's an inflammatory condition. I can almost invariably say that the I-26 will help people with inflammatory conditions. It's kind of a gray area sometimes, but for the most part, it really does, it does do that time and time again. Any kind of inflammatory conditions, it does seem to quell the immune system quite a bit so that there's less inflammation. And it may be happening from the GI activity because, we you know, if your GI is dramatically inflamed, 
that in that inflammation spills over throughout the whole body. Right. I hear people talking about saying if you have a, a dental carry and inflammation in the teeth, for example, it can affect cardiovascular disease because we know inflammation and cardiovascular disease are closely related as well too. Right. So that kind of stuff is that quality of inflammation, whether it works through the immune system, it works through the GI tract, is calming down inflammation and therefore all inflammatory conditions seem to respond very well to the program. It's really, really interesting, you know, and, and w if we go back to the athletes, right, the, mm -hmm. and, and your own personal experience with your yep. blowing, you're blowing past the pack and the only thing different you did was the I-26 program, yeah. uh -huh. I, would, I would guess that at that time you were not having the experience of any overt trouble with your gut. No. Like you weren't having pain, you weren't having cramping, you weren't having inflammation, you weren't having diarrhea, right? So no overt inflammatory stuff going on down there that you were aware of, and yet the product produces results, which are measurable and repeatable. It's fascinating to me how all of this works. And I got to tell you, um, you know, when I'm appointed Surgeon General of the United States, all right, <laughs> it's <Do> it. <laughs> stuff like this that all the research money is going to go to. Because, I mean, wouldn't you think that if you were a conventionally, if you were just a, a, an open-minded scientist and you saw stuff like this, you, it would be like an aha moment and you would mm -hmm. want to investigate that? Exactly. Yeah, more people, I think, are getting on this bandwagon. My hat goes off to you, especially, you know, because, you know, I'm a naturopathic doctor and we kind of expect naturopathic doctors to be talking about things like this. I mean, that's what we do. But you yeah. don't expect a conventional doctor or a PhD research guy to be mm -hmm. talking about things like this. Yeah. I really have to give you a lot of a uh, lot of credit and a lot of kudos here because to stand up inside of your scientific community and, you know, research things like this. Right. I mean, I would expect you you've been the subject of Oh, yeah. of, of, of a little bit of, of professional of harsh criticism. Of prof <laughs> professional <worse>. criticism, right? <laughs> yeah. yes. Indeed. Well, you know, the truth will out, uh, and it's it's what gets me up in the morning, and it's it's just been a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you, and I look forward to working with you in the future in order to make more people aware of mm -hmm. the, the real things that they can do, science-based, clinically effective, mm -hmm. uh, clinically verified, therapeutics yes. to support and promote the structure and function of the human body. Dr. Winkle, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time. You're welcome.